Well, good evening, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today you have the Rhino. As usual, over the last few years, it's pretty much always just the Rhino lately. <sighs> I gotta make new friends that want to drink some beer with me. That's what I gotta do. Uh, today we have this beer right here. This beer is from Smutty Nose. This is their Baltic Porter. So this is 9% alcohol by volume. Smutty Nose Baltic Porter. I've had a few Smutty Nose beers. Uh, a few of them do end up here in Ontario. And I bought those ones that have hit up here. And then uh, a few of them I used to buy in the U.S. when I'd go across. So, nice hiss there. So I have had uh, quite a few Smutty Nose beers. Uh, for the most part, what I've seen has more been the... Uh, the hoppy smutty nose beers. I do uh, see the the occasional dark, but um, don't think there's been many I've had to be honest with you. That is uh, not what I expected this cup to do. Nice black beer, dark brown head. Lots of snap crackle pop. Visually, that's an appealing beer. Visually, that is an appealing beer. I like the look of that. I really do. I like it. If that was put down in front of me at a bar, I'd enjoy it. Scent. Okay. Caramel, a roastiness, a little bit of coffee. Caramel, coffee, roastiness. A little, a little like fig slash plum sweetness. Almost smells stout like, in all honesty. Uh, let's let's try it. Cheers. And by that I mean the roasted malts and that coffee scent and stuff like that. Before people go, what do you mean stout like? What do you mean? Cheers. Okay. So. I heard, had heard from a lot of people that this wasn't a very good beer. I don't think it's, uh, I don't think it's Smutty Nose's best beer, but I think it is better than a lot of things out there, uh, even in just the Baltic Porter category that isn't a very, uh, widespread category. Um, medium medium creamy body. The The carbonation is low, uh, so it makes this beer just creamy and thick across the tongue, but at the same time, it, it's a medium body because of the fact that you could just drink it so easily. It just slides down. It, it, it comes off with that creamy sensation that just covers your tongue, but it's not hefty. It doesn't leave a residue, but it, it still covers the tongue. Chocolate, roastiness, coffee, caramel, and a tiny touch of plum. A little bit of alcohol warming right down in the chest, which is good for January. It's not the it's not the best Baltic porter I've ever had, but it's not the worst either. This is a solid beer. Uh, you bought it, you, know, you buy them in the four pack, at least here at the LCBO. Um, technically, they're open packs. Uh, they don't have a lid that closes, so most LCBOs will let you buy a single bottle. Um, not all LCBOs, but usually if it's an open container, you can take one bottle out and uh, buy just a single bottle. So you could try that if you didn't want to uh, put in for an entire four-pack. Because I think it is worth a try. I think there are a lot of people that are going to like this. It's kind of like a... Uh, it's 9% alcohol, but it's still like a... Uh, it's still like a light version of a Russian Imperial Stout. I'm actually quite intrigued by this beer. I'm quite impressed with this beer. I don't think it's nearly as bad as it was made out to be to me. And uh, I would give this a 7 out of 10. I would buy it again. I actually have no problem at all with the Baltic Porter. Oh, is that the date stamp? Best Buy October 2018. Okay, so you could, you know, I bought this uh, probably October 2016. So, um, and now it's January 2017. So you could age this for uh, about two years is what they're saying. And uh, all I think that would do is cut down the heat of it a little bit. But the heat isn't all that much anyway. I don't think it would really... I don't think it would really make the beer all that much better. It might. But I don't think it would. 
Uh, so yeah, 7 out of 10. Thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful evening. Orofari, I'll be on toast. See you soon. Bye-bye.